Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a crafting tutorial of how to craft your dream helm for righteous fire. Now, uh, this is not a gameplay video, it's simply going to go over crafting methods for your helmet. But before I start with the dream helmet, I just want to start with the basic helmet for the one you're going to use until you get to this point. So the standard helm for righteous fire is you're going to be looking for an item level, I think it's 84 plus. Um, let me just check real fast to confirm. If you guys are not aware of this website, it's called PoEDB. Um, basically, with this uh, with this website, you can track what level what affix rolls at. So, as an example, we're looking for Conk, Burn, and Ellie, and then of course like life rolls. So, if we look here on prefixes, the highest tier life roll is only item level 64. Uh, if we look at our elder prefixes, we can see here that. Uh, burn damage hits all the way up to 82, so we would want an 82 minimum. And then conk effect is at, conk is a prefix, conk is 82, so I believe 82 would be the goal. Uh, I think higher you could get better resistances, but that's only one slot, so if you're looking for damage, 82 is where you're at. Okay, with that being said, let's go back over here. So, to go ahead and craft a helmet like this, you're going to use Essences of Horror. Um, not to be confused with Essence of Horror, but Essence of Horror. The reason why is it gives you the 30% more elemental damage to gems socketed in your helmet, which is what you want RF in. So you're going to basically just slam Essences of Horror, in my opinion, for me, until I got some form of burn damage because I wanted a budget helm, right? I didn't want to spend multiple exalts and harvest, you know, add removing a helm that was temporary for me. So that's literally all I did. The ideal goal is to get one prefix open uh, minimum assuming you don't assuming you do have a life roll so in this instance you can see I got really lucky really lucky I hit t1 life hybrid life had a uh, prefix open so I crafted my physical damage from its taken as fire you could also for a divine orb craft the ink aoe and plus one aoe gems and then you have the more elemental and then burn and if I got lucky I could have removed the block recovery but that doesn't have a tag um, you can see it doesn't have a defense tag only the hybrid has a defense tag so I said I'm just leaving it alone I'm done with it until the next project so this is with essences of horror now to go on to the other helmet where I've spent now over 25 exalts crafting again very big big project um, we have this helmet so to start with this helmet um, unlike this helmet um, because I knew I was gonna spend a lot of currency and this is not done this simply only has its suffixes done so I have a elevated level 25 burn, plus one int, and 30% more Ellie. From here on forward, I need to craft suffixes cannot be changed, and then I need to slam basically suffix, not, sorry, it's the mod that says like keep all uh, suffixes but reforge prefixes, and then once I hit level 20 conk, uh, I can try to remove the other prefix that's on it assuming there is one. From that point forward, I can then use augment caster to force an elder mod, then I can use a Maven's Orb and Elevate, but first I will use Suffixes Cannot Be Changed, so that locks it for three prefixes, and then I gamble 50-50 at chance at elevating the Conk effect, and then I just simply do Augment Life until I hit T1. Anyway though, we'll talk about the steps of that in a second. Um, but before we get into that, buying the base. So buying the base is pretty simple. There's a couple of ways to do this, and I can't give you best advice for this because I'm not the best trader, but... Um, over here, you can simply type. Now, I went with Hubris because I wanted the energy shield, but this will make it more difficult to roll because I'm dealing with a mana prefix. Um, you could just go with the, uh, with the um, what is it, the typical, like, uh, I forgot, the armor-based helmets as well. To be fair, all I really did is I searched for my RF enchant. So I went over to helmet. So this is item level 86. So over in the trade menu here, we go to item level 86. Oops. Oops. Okay. Righteous fire. I want AoE because I'm going to be using Conk Effect. Uh, and this has to be on a helmet. And then we search away. And then from here you can see your base. So, oh, and then I guess one other thing we could do. Category, any non-unique, search. Okay. So from here you find your base. You yoink your base, and then you go on to the crafting project. So, the crafting project. To hit plus one intelligence gems, 
and 30% more Ellie is what your goal is. To do this, I used Glyphic Fossils, which are about 10 C each, they vary a lot, and I used Tangled Fossils. So that was a two socket resonator. Unfortunately, on the popular website Craft of Exile, there is no outcome for the Tangled Fossil because it can hit any Fossil mod. So for people who don't know what we're doing, we're basically rolling all Fossil modifiers and we're rolling all the Corrupt Essence modifiers until we hit plus one Int and 30% more Ellie. There is another option, I forgot what it's called. Is it Faceted maybe? That has a much better chance at rolling the plus Int. That is 30 Chaos each opposed to Tangled being one C each. It's up to you what you think is better. I tried, you know, two Exalteds and Faceted, it didn't work and then I just kept doing this method. Now, so you're going to use Tangled Fossils and Glyphic Fossils until you hit your plus one Intelligence and your 30% more Ellie. In the instance of what happened for me is where that elevated burn is, I actually hit block and stun recovery, which meant that there's no tag for it to remove. Just like my helmet here, there was no way I could remove it. So I had to use an RNG and null, and I actually got lucky, and I annulled off the block and stun recovery. From there, it was time to add uh, burn damage. So I spent about 10 exalts doing add remove fire until I hit a level 20 burn. After I hit level 20 burn, you have two steps you can do from here. And I have a little document here just to explain kind of what we're doing. So we just explained the Tangled Fossil. I did the RNG and Null. We hit the 20 burn. So from here, you can do Augment Caster. Augment Caster is, I believe, one of the cheapest augments. And if we look here real fast, Augment Caster will hit under the Elder Prefixes because we're suffix locked. Um, you can hit fire damage to spells, physical to spells, or chaos to spells, right? So when you do this, it will force a prefix. Um, it'll force a prefix specifically that is influenced. From there, you can use your Maven's Orb and you have a 50-50 chance. It either hits your burn and then your suffix dessert are completely done or it hits your prefix and then you basically have to like, you know, spend another 10 to 20 exalts trying to hit a level 20 burn and then you could bave an orb again so anyway now that we have talked about that i want to talk about where i'm going further which i explained a little bit at the beginning so to continue this further what i would do now is keep suffix reroll prefix until level 20 conch effect this is via harvest after i hit level 20 conch effect i need to look at my prefixes and see if i can remove them the reason why i want to remove them is because I am going to craft suffix cannot be changed for like two exalts. This makes it so that the Maven Orb cannot pull the level 25 burn. But it still needs something to pull. So this is why we need our, our prefixes clean with the exception of the conch effect. Then we will do augment caster and we will force on that other influence mod I was talking about. And then we Maven Orb 50-50 prey. If it hits conch, then it's elevated conch. And now we have a the exact helmet we have now with the exception of the rarity. And instead, we also have an elevated conch effect. From there, all I have to do is add remove life until T1 life. And then I craft 8% um, of physical hits taken as fire for me. Or if you want more damage, you craft AoE. And then I don't think there is any other helmet you could get for RF that's better in the game. With the exception of getting it 30%. That's probably about it. So hopefully that should conclude the tutorial for rolling the best in slot helmet for you guys. Again, this is like deep, deep min max. It's not really something that you really need to do now. It's like solely for people who have a ton of currency and wanna just keep investing into the same build. So anyway, hope you guys like this short little tutorial. Hope it helped you guys out. Please leave me some feedback in the comments below. This is like brand new for me. I've never played Softcore Trade League and I'm having a blast with the actual crafting methods. Um, you know, let me know how I can explain this easier for you guys. I know it obviously would be easier if I edited it and took like footage of my live stream when I was doing it live, but I don't really do that. And that takes a lot of time that I don't have. So I just tried to break it down as easy as possible for you guys. Anyway, take care. Have a wonderful time. Don't forget to drop some comments down below. Uh, if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox, except for Sundays. Have a good one.